Okay, we'll do split court just to explain that. So let's move this. Maddie, can you move this? Or move one. We just need one in the middle. So just move one in, just one in the middle. So this, this is a great drill for, I like isolating things down into a small situation. That's why I like short court drills are great. Split court drills are great. So we'll have, let's get three players over here, three players here, three there, whatever's left there, okay? Or two. I guess it's two and two against three and three. So split court, I use to run tempo management. So I call it ceiling ball to start, which is put the ceiling at the top of the antenna. They have to pass, set, and jump and tip. Everything has to be below the height of the antenna and they have to rotate in a certain way. So when it's two on two, they're just switching every time. So it's pass, obviously the next person will set, you go up, tip the ball over, and then they switch, okay? On this side, they're always, whenever I have three, they're always setting towards the pin, the outside pin. So always setting towards the sideline and they're rotating around. So a setter's up there, there you go, you have a hitter over here, good. Yep, and they're always rotating that way. So it's great to run this and then just flip sides because then they're taking a right side approach, then they're taking a left side approach while playing the same drill. So, and having to move. So at this point, we're here. Can you bring the ball card over here? So what I like, one thing I like about, one, I like this drill because it just, they have to ball control in a smaller place. Um, the second, it's, you know, they, they struggle with movement. So just getting them to know that the faster they move, the easier it is to recognize and play the next point. So the reason why I like a ball cart here is I don't want, I, I don't want one player shagging. Why? Because if it's over here, if Kira's shagging a ball over there, you have five players not doing something. So I like to have coaches stand here and we enter. So you guys are playing, you guys are setting towards the pin. So Cam, come up here. So you guys are always setting that way. You guys are always setting that way. So I just bowl balls in. And if there's a mistake, I don't want them running for the ball. I just want them to clear it. And then I'll enter, I'll enter in. Ball. Okay. Ball. Good. Good. Ball. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, guys, hold the balls. You remember I said something about ceiling ball? It needs to stay below the height of the pin. So your pass, your set, and your tip. You got, even though you jump high, you can't jump higher than the pin. So you'll be good. Okay, let's keep it low. Control the ball. That's too high. That's too high. That's too high. Okay, hold the balls. What do you guys notice about their movement? What could they improve on? Posture, what else? A lot of up and downs, yep. Okay, so you move, move with purpose, things are gonna be better. You know which way to go, control the ball, okay? Stay down low, come up when you're gonna contact, go. Lower. Good, that's better, ball, ball. Okay, we're good, you get the point. So when it's, so in this, it may not look like it, they're supposed to be very cooperative to start, yeah. Now, like there was no utilization of like the back third of the 
No, yeah, this is, yeah, at this point it's tempo management and just control of ball in a short space. Very rarely will you see it. It tends to be played kind of from about 15 feet up. Um, it's just a good drill. It's nice because now, like I said, if you flip, if I just flip these two teams, they're taking different approaches. So you can work on, I love this drill because you can work on approach, you can work on transition, you can, you can work on obviously ball control and posture, you can work on footwork for setting quite a bit. And then you can increase tempo and you can mix it. You can say first ball, just like I run, first ball is a drop pass, second ball is fast, third ball is a roll shot down the line. And then it can be about a 70% hit if they're getting pretty proficient at it. So the last time I ran it with my team, we were running it where we were pretty proficient at it. Now we did, we put the defender right on the line. So they had to hit directly there, but that was okay good ball control because it focused on what they were doing to be able to control the ball at that level. So, all right, thanks guys. Um, can you guys put that antenna back over there, please?